and everything that we encounter on a daily basis has been designed from the house that we live in, the car that you got in and drove to work or to school in today, uh, the desk that you sit at, the chair that you sit in, everything has been designed. Everything that we see in our world around us has got uh, design and drafting involved in it. Engineering graphics and design technology has been there from day one, one of the strongest programs and continues to be one of the strongest programs on campus. You get trained here, you're going to be able to step out of here and go into a job and you'll know exactly what they're doing. If I see a resume with Utah Valley on it as a drafts person, they automatically jump to the top of my list. As an employer, if I see uh, that they've attended Utah Valley and on the resume, that uh, is, a, is a huge bonus to me. We know that we can hire them and bring them right in, they can start right on the job. Drafting allows you to take it from an idea and actually construct drawings that will allow it to be built. So it takes it from basically idea to reality. I just love to be able to draw and being paid to draw is by far the best part of it. You drew it, you designed it, um, you knew all the problems ahead of time and um, just to see it come to life. You can be involved in designing something and then two years later it's constructed or a year later it's constructed and it's, it's going to be there. You, you go back out five years later and I've gone back and looked at some of my projects and there it is. Starting something from scratch and being able to show somebody as you drive by um, a subdivision and be able to tell them that you designed that. We focus on five different areas of design in our program. We teach structural steel, we teach electrical drafting, we teach architectural drafting, we teach mechanical drafting, and we also teach civil engineering drafting and along with that surveying and surveying design. Other programs will teach just architecture or they'll just teach mechanical design. We cover all of those. Our program is set up so that a student comes in their very first year and they're introduced to all five of those disciplines. And then as they come back in their second year, they basically focus in two of their most favorite areas. So perhaps maybe a student likes architectural drafting and they really like structural steel. Those will be the two disciplines that they'll focus their efforts in. Uh, if maybe one area in the industry starts to dry up or the job market isn't as strong, they have another discipline that they're still able to fall back on within our own program. We hire a student from here, they're already uh, months ahead of, of somebody that we hire off the street. One thing that we like to, to brag about or boast a little bit, and, and rightfully so, is the ability that we have had to stay up to date with our technology, state of the art equipment. As far as our software goes, we always have the very latest that's out there. And I think that's why our reputation is great. I think that's why on a national level, we do so well in competitions. Our students are out there touching, using, uh, learning the very latest equipment. It's not something that's outdated. Uh, I felt like the drafting program really kept up with the uh, technology and with what the industry was doing. Not only does the, the department keep up on the software, but the teachers love to keep up on it too. And they know how to help you learn how to use it. So that when you get to get out to the workplace, you're right on top of it. Sometimes you even know the version past or above what the company you work for uses. We're trying to stay right with the industry all the time. In fact, in some cases, we're actually ahead of the industry. We're teaching a, a later version than what the industry's actually adopted. Um, they, they actually teach the software that we use, which is a, a very high-end 3D modeling software. As a faculty member, it makes me proud to know that our dean and, and our school has been very focused on keeping us up to date in our equipment. Ours is a very hands-on program, so in our surveying classes, for example, those students are handed a piece of surveying equipment. They learn how to use it, they learn how to set it up, and then they go right outside on an actual job site and go through an actual real-world type project. Being more of a, an applied program um, really helps you out in the industry because you're, you're learning what you're going to be doing. I try to, to, to treat my students like they're my employees, so that way they have a knowledge of or a feel of what it's like in the industry. We do take an interest in our students. We make sure that they're putting out quality work. We don't accept something that's, that's haphazard or, or substandard. We want everything that leaves that classroom to be professional. It seem like their uh, instructors have more real world experience and so they really try to pass that on to the students. All of the faculty spent time in the industry before they ever joined the, the faculty team. So most of the faculty that are on our staff have had at least, at least 10 years of industry experience in the discipline that they teach. It's a discipline that you can make a career out of this and do well. You get out uh, with a two-year degree 
and you can actually uh, get out and go to work for as, as much as between fifteen and twenty dollars an hour depending on what area you go into. We have one of the best job placements in I would say the school of TNC. Uh, we work pretty hard to make sure our students are placed in the industry before they even leave. I was able to get a job when I was finished and had my degree and so I really it, it really helped me to um, get where I'm at. I kind of had my job when I was going to school here, so everything I, I learned at school applied directly to what I was doing at work. We now have 15 employees and uh, nine of them are either Utah Valley graduates or currently in, enrolled in the, the program. Come on over and, and visit our facility. Come look what we have to offer. You'll be quite impressed. If you're coming to our program with an uh, uh, not understanding any more than maybe one little part of that, you walk away from our program and you can go into any industry in the country or any industry in the world as far as that goes. Mm -hmm.